Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. For many of us, our college experience was shaped by the impact of sororities and fraternities. And here at the Circle, we are continually representing the Divine Nine. Today, we are so happy to be joined by the International Grand Bachelors of Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated, Deborah Catching Smith. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. We're Thank so you. happy to have you here today. It's wonderful being here. Absolutely. So we're talking about 97 years of service. Talk yes. about being a part of that amazing legacy of Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated. Yes, Sigma Gamma Rho has a phenomenal rich history and legacy, being that we are the only Divine Nine national sorority founded on a predominantly white university, mm -hmm. Butler University, in Indianapolis, Indiana on November 12, 1922, just steps away from the world headquarters of the Ku Klux Klan. Wow, wow, so that's definitely rich, rich legacy there. Yes. And let's bring it back to Atlanta this weekend, the yes. Celebration Bowl. Sigma Gamma Rho is one of the sponsors. Why did you feel it was so important to put the entire sorority surrounding this uh, amazing gathering of football and fun? Absolutely, we know how important it is for us to support our HBCUs. They need us now more than ever. Yes. It is full on support and Sigma Gamma Rho is definitely has strong belief in what we can do even though it may be small in size meaning that one individual organization right. we can do mighty things when we all come together yes. the end result can make phenomenal impact and our HBCUs need our support yes and so Sigma Gamma Rho definitely is about supporting our own people and supporting our own historically black colleges yes. and universities and we're gonna have a good time because everybody's yes. gonna have their sweets <laughs> we're gonna be having absolutely, fun absolutely. And, just, and just getting together like a big family reunion it's, it's gonna absolutely. be a wonderful time yeah but uh, you know Sigma Gamma Rho it continues to do so much in the community and one of the programs that I'm so enamored of that you all do is the swim 1922 yes. the partnership that you have with USA swimming can you talk about the clinics that are going on across the country and particularly in Atlanta tomorrow yes really happy about that with uh, Atlanta Public Schools uh, students yes we are having a clinic here tomorrow in Atlanta we have been engaged <laughs> with an international partnership with USA swimming now for about six and a half years and the reason why we got engaged is because we became aware of the alarming drowning rate of African Americans in the United States. We are five times more likely to drown than Caucasians or other people of color. And so we knew it was really a silent killer in our community because all children love to swim. They want to get in the water with their families. But unfortunately, so many of our people don't know how to swim and don't know water safety prevention measures yeah. that will keep them safe while they have fun. Well, and I know so many lives have been changed. What does it feel like for you as the president of this organization to see lives change? by watching what these children do in the water. It has been an amazing experience like none other <clears throat> to see the positive impact that we're having across the country because we do offer the swim clinics under our Swim 1922 initiative and we're bringing out not only children but now entire families yes, are engaged. Because it's generational. They're, it is generational. Again, it's more likely that if a child's parents don't know how to swim, that child will never learn how to swim. Yes, yes. And so we're introducing a world sport to all children. There's other things besides football and basketball. Yes. There's the sport of swimming. Yes. You can earn scholarships. I you did. can become an athlete. Yes. Uh, you can become an Olympian under that sport. So yes. we have been able to partner through uh, our partnership with USA Swimming, bringing in Olympians, mm -hmm. people of color who are Olympians. Yes. And so it has been an amazing learning experience journey for our community, but most importantly, we are literally saving lives. Good, good. Coming up, a centennial celebration in 2022, but then your conference, your uh, your national conference is here in Atlanta. So yes. lots of planning going on for yes. Sigma Gamma Rho. Yes, absolutely. We will be back here in Atlanta in 2020, July 8th through the 12th, here in Atlanta, our international conference, which we call our Boule, yes. will be held here in the wonderful city of Atlanta. Yeah. We are so excited about bringing our conference here this year. We've not been in Atlanta since 1992. Wow. So we're glad to come back uh, and convene here in Atlanta. Good, good. As we close things out, can you speak to the importance of the Divine Nine now and moving forward? The Divine Nine is pinnacle in that we total more than 1.5 million members we can definitely make a change when we come together collaboratively and focus on the most critical issues in our country. We as the Divine Nine Presidents, the Council of Presidents, have all collaborated and made a commitment that as we move into 2020, our main foci are going to be the U.S. Census for 2020. Yes. We have got to be counted because at risk are billions of dollars 
that our communities need, not mm -hmm. just the African American community, but all communities. Those funds support our schools, our roads, and then it also bleeds over into the political arena mm -hmm. because our redistricting is based on the population count. Yes. And so who serves our people matters. If we don't participate in the census, then the maps will be reformed mm -hmm. for decades. Yes, yes. And so we are definitely focusing on that as well as voter education, voter mobilization, and voter engagement. We want to make sure that people know what they're voting for. Yes. It's not enough to just register folks. Yes. And voting is local. It starts on the local level because all of the voter suppression we're seeing is happening at the local level. Yes, well, thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you at the Celebration Bowl thank this you. weekend. To find out more about Sigma Gamma Rome Sorority Incorporated, please visit their website at sgro1922.org.